What's up, y'all? Your boy's back. 6 9 is in the news. Um, apparently today was his court day, or the first day of his court day, or whatever. And he told on everybody. He snitched. He's singing like a bitch. Okay? And, of course, with this situation, there are people who are defending 6 9 And there are people who are saying that if, you know, you were in 6 9s position, you probably would have done the same thing. How do I feel about the 6 9 uh, situation? Um, I saw this coming a mile away. If you have a brain, you saw this coming a mile away. Okay? Um, the way he was acting... Uh, he could it wasn't just about the music for him it was you know about being an entertainer and an Instagram idiot and all this other dumbass stuff that had absolutely nothing to do with music okay now if you if he only if if he put all of that energy from trying to be funny and trying to be a gangster and hard and I, I'm from the streets son of, I represent the gang uh. You know, doing all of that. If he took all that energy and just focused on the music, we wouldn't be in this situation. But because he's an idiot and, you know, he doesn't care about the family that he got right now and, you know, people that love him. Now, nah, forget all that. He want, in the in today's terms, he wants all the clout. Whatever. Now look at your dumbass. Now, if I'm in 6 ix position, I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm snitching too. I'm telling everybody business. Everybody who was with me from the beginning to when we got taken down, everybody getting... This man snitched on Trippy Red. The most random... <laughs> the most random name I saw when reading that whole transcript thing. Like, I said, Trippy Red? Like, <laughs> like damn... Y'all was in it like that? Look, man, y'all need to understand that when you are like, when your life, when you have a life that's dedicated to the streets, it's not the same life as a normal human being, okay? Now, for 6 9 I don't really think he was, okay, I can't really, I can't even say he was, he wasn't really dedicated to the life of the streets because, you know, he was affiliated with the, the gang members and stuff like that so you know but at the same time it's like real gangsters know or real people who are act who are active in that lifestyle know whatever happens you don't snitch you do not say anything <laughs> you know but that just goes to show you that 6 9 was really never about that life 6 9 was about the life of just getting money and um, at the time, he was being protected by the whole gang or whatever. But this dumbass didn't think, hey, uh, this might, you know, jeopardize my entire career. Maybe I just don't affiliate myself with these people. I could maybe pay them for protection, but that's about it. You know, I'm positive there are a lot of um, artists out here who have these, you know, who have gang members on payroll. I'm, I'm positive. I'm positive. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure if he did that, it wouldn't really be a problem. As long as, you know, they're not attaching his name to, like, shootings and stuff like that, then it's cool. But the fact that he actually, actually said that he was involved in shootings and stuff like that, you know, uh, gang member activity, um, he set himself up for failure right then and there. Um, he's an idiot. I said it from the beginning, I'll say it again. And you know the, the crazy part about it, the whole thing, is looking at people on social media, right, who say, oh, well, you know, uh, he snitched, but uh, let me tell you something else, man. You, you can't deny he had hits. What the hell does having hits got to do with the fact that he probably got hit up in his booty crease about 50 times already. What that got to do? What does the hits got to do with the fact that this there might be a hit on this man the second he step out of jail? What the hits got to do, bro? Mm? That ain't got to do with the Matter of fact, speaking of hits, wasn't Nicki Minaj screaming Trey Way at one point in life? Where the, where the cops at? Find her. Find Nicki Minaj too. Lock everybody up. Lock her up. Lock Trippy Red up. Lock everybody up. Okay? <laughs> the damn cameramen who knew about the shit. All of them. <laughs> like, yo. It's crazy how y'all... And 
I just want to go back to the whole hits thing. Bro, having hits and having music that, you know, tops the charts and stuff like that, you know that doesn't equate to talent, right? Well, you know that always do that doesn't always equate to talent, right? You know that, right? No, no, that, that's too, that's too uh, top level thinking for some of y'all. Oh, well, she topped the charts and her song went this and that and the third. You're just a hater. No, bish. I actually got good music taste. But we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> 6 9 Um, if he somehow gets off, I'm just saying, if he somehow gets off, I do not see that man making it out alive. I, I'm gonna, uh, just, yo, yo, okay, that man ain't gonna make it, bro, he ain't gonna freaking make it, okay, he, whatever witness protection they got set for this man, if he gets off, um, need to bump that bitch up, because <laughs> he could be, he, y'all can leave him alone for two seconds, zip. That's it for your boy. That's it. Okay? I'm just saying, man. <laughs> that man went in there singing like Ray Charles on his freaking deathbed. And you expect him to still be living after all that? <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you were if you were really in the streets like that, you know not to freaking snitch. Because you're dumb at, yo, he probably got just destroyed in jail after he was in court. I'm positive, unless they have him in like solitary confinement maybe, or like somewhere where people cannot get to him, <laughs> but I highly doubt it. But, yo, this whole situation is, is crazy, honestly. But um, 6 9 you did it to yourself, bro. You had it, you literally had the world in the palm of your freaking hands, and you just decided, ah, forget it, I'm a gangster. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, was it worth it? Was it worth it, bro? I hope this is a message or this sends a message to everyone who... Everyone, yeah, honestly. It, it doesn't matter if you're in the industry, not in the industry, just a regularized person living life, you know? You don't have to be a freaking gangster to live your life, bro. You don't need... 50 dudes with guns and tattoos and all this other crazy ass stuff to have a good life. The man legit had a good life. But he threw it all away for some dumb ass stuff. Kodak Black is in jail and has been in jail since May. I just found this out yesterday. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What is wrong with you dumb asses, bro? Like, what? Like, how much time I got some? Like, I don't, I don't understand. The, the, look, what's not clicking? What's not clicking, bro? Like, you you guys have the, the world in the palm of your hands, bro. You got all the money. You got all the publicity. All the fame. All this. All that. You got people from around the world who absolutely adore you. No matter how dumb your music is, they love it to death. And you would rather throw that all away. You, you can't you can't look past, you know, your old life or the things that you used to do. You just got to go right back into it. Forget the new life and the good life that you're living that you should be grateful for. Forget all that. Oh, hell no, nah, cuz. Huh? No, nah, no. I want, I want to do bad stuff with my friends. Like, come on, bro. We see these artists, right? We see these artists. They come up. They get big. And all of a sudden, it just goes down freaking hill. And you would think that they would learn from their mistakes and stuff like that. They don't. They they never do. Brings me back to Kodak Black. What the hell? How has he been in jail for this long? And nobody's talking about him. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not the biggest fan of Kodak Black. But bro, like, <laughs> it it's crazy to me. It is wild to me how... He has been in jail for so freaking long. I've not seen not one person talk about Kodak Black, bring up Kodak Black in any situation whatsoever. And it's crazy, you know. But hey, like 6 9 he did it to himself. And like a lot of these artists, they do it to themselves. And they never learn from their mistakes, you know. Some of them do, but 
sometimes it's too late. You know, I, I hate to bring it up, but look at X, bro. Look at X. You know, he was dealing with all of the uh, legal drama and the allegations and stuff like that. And even before that, he was, you know, a real wild-ass dude, you know. And um, over time, he said, yo, I'm going to switch my life up. I'm going to switch things up. I'm going to try to, you know, better myself and make that change just not for me, but um, for everyone else to and show everyone else that, hey, I'm, I'm actually trying my best to be different than what I was before. And unfortunately, it was too late. And now the same idiots who killed X, one of them, is sitting up here requesting Bond. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Somebody said that 6 9 Six nine ain't no real thug, and this that and the thing. Well, duh. <laughs> like, do you see his hair? Come on, bro. That man got rainbow colored hair and a six nine tattoo on his face. Does that look menacing to you, huh? If I walk around in a damn Spider Man outfit with a Hello Kitty backpack, does that look like I'm gonna hurt you? No, right? No, it does not. <laughs> like. Anyways, I don't have nothing else to say. 6 9 again, you did it to yourself. If, uh, and also, uh, if he somehow gets off, somehow gets his time reduced, what the hell ever, somehow gets put in witness protection, whatever. Uh, I don't see this man making it. But hey, <laughs> don't drop the soap, bro. Like, <laughs> that's all I gotta say about that, man. You better, you better look up. Like, you better do, you, you gotta do something with that soap, bro. You got to do something with that soap. Got to do something with that soap, man. Anyways, I'm going to catch y'all next time. Um, Kanye, if you watching, you bum bitch, please drop the damn album next week, Friday. Please. Because I refuse to stay up to 3 o'clock in the morning again for your dumb ass just for you to not drop the album. Okay? I'm not doing it ever again. Anyways, y'all let me know in the comment section your thoughts and your opinions on the whole 6 9 situation. Um... Talk to me in comments. Like I said, I read them bitches. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. As always, join the squad. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.